Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yu Yan. So today I'm gonna be doing a Glossier try on haul. I just got a huge package of Glossier products and I used it all over my face. And I got the new Glossier bubble wrap, which is the eye and lip plumping cream with other products like the stretch concealer, the halo scope, the boy brow um, cloud paints, and some other ones as well. So if you wanna see me trying it on and my opinions on them, then please just keep on watching. Alright, so starting off, I don't have anything on my face. Um, I did put a little bit of moisturizer with SPF and um, I did do my brows because from what I see, Glossier doesn't have any brow pencil or anything like that. So if you are wondering, um, I did use what I usually use and that is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Medium Brown and also the Anastasia... Um, brow powder duo in medium brown. So that's what I used on my brows and I just filled it in um, pretty light and natural and I also have lash extensions of course That you can see which is why I didn't pick up um, the mascara and just for my lips. I used a Lip balm. Um, it's the burst be tinted lip balm in red Delia. I actually placed two orders the first one i got just two products because i'm like interested in the other glossier products um i wanted to just do a whole face of it so i did place another package i mean another order and it just came in last night so i got a lot of products for the whole face it's super cute packaging as you've probably seen before first it's like the super cute box that says glossier and a little smiley face with a hand and then it's recycled 100% recycled content so that's really nice and it also comes with a sticker um i think it changes this one is fruit stickers with little mangoes super cute as you've probably seen it comes with this bubble wrapped pink package um, really nice. I see a lot of girls using these as makeup bags because they do have a Ziploc closure. So I thought this was really cute. Really nice touch. Um, I've never ordered anything from Glossy before. This is my first time. I have tried some of their samples that I've gotten from the New York City um, Soho Glossier store. I tested some of it on my hand, but I've never really um, owned any of my own. So in the first package, this is what I ordered first last week. I got the Sheer Matte Lipstick. I really love their packaging. This like millennial pink. I mean, it's like a muted millennial pink. It's so cute. Um, and then I got the Boy Brow. And then for this recent package, I got the Bubble Wrap Eye Plus Lip Plumping Cream. This is all new. So I really wanted to try this one out. And then I did get the Priming Moisturizer that I've heard a lot of great things about and I've tried it like a sample of it and I really did like it I got the Glossier stretch concealer the Glossier smoothing face mist rose water spray the packaging is so cute um, I got the cloud paint such a cute package and then lastly I got the holoscope do effect highlighter and they also gave me two samples. I think it's like a scent. Yeah, it's a perfume um, of their scent. And then um, my first package, I ordered a um, priming moisturizer sample. Really excited to try it all out. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so in case you're wondering, I do have natural light coming in right now. And I am using like the lowest setting of my ring light. So first, I'm going to start off with the Glossier Bubble Wrap, which is their newest product. It says it's an eye plus lip plumping cream. And it says after cleansing and before moisturizing, use ring finger to gently press into the area around eyes and onto lips. Oh, um, maybe I shouldn't have lip balm on then. So this is what it looks like. The can is like an aerosol can and it's a little pump. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. It's not coming out. Oh, here we go. Okay. So that was like one and a half pump. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put it on my eyes first. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm just going to use my ring finger and put it on like an eye cream. So I think that's essentially what it is. Um, I think it's just like an eye cream that hydrates and plumps up your eyes so that you don't look as tired 
and I guess like you can use it on your lips too which is pretty cool okay so it feels really moisturizing and really light I like that um, I don't like it when eye creams are too heavy but I still want it to be hydrated enough that is what <laughs> it looks like um, and actually I'm just gonna take off my lip balm so I can really feel how this is I'm just gonna put the rest on my lips I like how you can use it for both purposes. Um, that's really nice if I'm traveling. I think I would use this more as like an eye product before my makeup um, instead of like a lip product because I don't really feel like it does much for the lips whereas for the eyes it feels really nice. So next up I'm going to use the priming moisturizer. For this it says massage cream into face after using upward strokes up and out i really like this um i've tried it before it reminds me a lot of the Too faced hangover primer which is what i use on the daily this one packaging is a little different a little similar too but i think this one has more 1.7 fluid ounce whereas this is 1.35 okay so i'm just gonna apply this in upward and out I'm not looking over here because I have a mirror. Yeah, I really like this priming moisturizer. It just makes the skin feel really good. So that feels really nice and um, it just, it's very tacky. If you like more of like a mattifying primer, I don't think you would like it as much, but I like it when my primers are like tacky and feels hydrating um, because my cheeks do get pretty dry. So in case you're wondering, I do have combination skin. So my T-zone is on the oily side and as for my cheeks, it's more on like normal skin to, um, drier. Next, I'm going to try out the stretch concealer. I got this in the shade G10. This is what it looks like. Really simple and nice packaging. It has the Glossier logo on top. So I was thinking of getting the Perfecting Skin Tint, which is like their foundation, I think. But from what I see, it seems like it doesn't really do much to your skin. Um, so unless you just want like a very light, light coverage all over, that's when you would get it, I guess. But even so, every day now, I do just use a concealer. The concealer that I use is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Medium 1 Custard. It is kind of similar to the Glossier one, like the packaging. So yeah, it's just in this little pot and I just put it on my under eyes to cover up any dark circles and any blemishes. Um, so I thought that the stretch concealer would be a good alternative to try out. Um, so with this, I'm just going to do what I usually do with the NARS, which is just use a damn beauty blender and put it on. So like I said, I got the color G10. So it's supposed to be just be a light medium. Use my beauty blender and apply it that way, which is usually how I apply it. So let me just do my left, uh, right side first. Oh wow, the coverage is a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be really light coverage because it seems like most of Glossier's products are natural and just kind of like that no makeup makeup look. But I do like this concealer. It looks really good. Oh yeah. The color is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's a little bit light for me, but I think it's perfect for like under eyes. So yeah. So this is just the under eyes. I think it looks really good. Um, really natural. Doesn't look cakey at all. So now I'm just going to put it on any blemishes that I have. So I do have like a little pimple situation on my forehead. Oh, it's too light for my forehead. Do you see that? So I think this color is really good um, for under eyes. But if I wanted to put it on the rest of my face, I might need to get a different shade. I'm just trying to blend it so that it looks not too light and then my cheeks over here i do have a little bit of blemish it works really well with the beauty blender guys i think it would look 
really nice with if you just wanted to use your fingers. Now I don't really have much product on here. I'm just kind of tapping it to make sure everything is blended in and looks good. So it's definitely not a full coverage concealer. I still see blemishes peeking through. It's really good for like every day, I think, when you just want to put on something really quick. So that is pretty much what the concealer looks like. I really like it. I'm really pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be like a light coverage. I like how it makes my skin look very skin-like and not like cakey or anything, you know? So I really like this a lot. Okay, so before anything else, I am going to put on the Boy Brow. I know that this is like a highly raved product. This is what it looks like. I usually don't use a brow gel because my brows don't really go crazy, but I did want to try this out. Um, I got this in the shade brown. They have three shades, a clear brown and black, I think. I'm just going to brush it up. Whoa, it's a lot of product. I don't like it going too up. I know that's like the look, but I do like it when it kind of just flows more naturally. So like the front, I will put up, but then the rest, I just brush back. Okay. Whoa. It like comes in a lot of product like this little brush has so much product okay um okay so well this is what it looks like not the biggest fan of this i don't really see much of a difference i don't know maybe i'm not using it correctly i mean it definitely puts my hairs in place but I think the wand has a lot of product and it's kind of hard to put on unless you like brush it off. I'm not sure. And it doesn't really make much of a difference for me. I guess if your brow hairs like go all over the place um, during the day, this would be a really nice product to have. But for me, I don't have that issue. So I don't know. Maybe if I didn't do my brows and I used this. No, but I, I have like such bald patches on my brows, I couldn't do that. So I guess if you have naturally really nice brows and you just want to put them like a nice shape and have the hairs in place, this would be really nice. But as for me, um, I do fill in my brows every day. This doesn't do much for me. So next up, I want to try the cloud paint. Um, this is in the shade Dusk. Love the packaging, so pretty. I got it in the shade Dusk. Um, it's a really pretty like rosy peachy color and I really like that. Um, so it says in directions, for best results, apply with fingertips, gently squeeze a tiny dot into finger and blend onto cheek. Okay, so let's just take a little bit. I'm kinda scared. I don't usually wear blush guys on every day. Um, one, because I don't really have time to put it on and two I'm too lazy and three I'm just not really a blush person but I just thought this was so pretty all right let's show you that's all. do you think that's enough I'm scared okay so I'm just gonna pat it on to my cheeks I guess oh maybe I should have done it with one finger oh okay it's not as bright as I thought it was gonna be Oh, it's really nice. I love the little sheen. Maybe I even need more. Wow. That's pretty. I think I'm putting too much <laughs> because I put literally everything I had on one cheek. So for blush, usually I like putting it on like the apples on my cheek and I like kind of going back um, just to kind of have it more even. And I do kind of like it on my nose too, just to have like that kind of sunburned look. Not sunburned, sorry, sun-kissed look. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Really natural. Love the color. This one has nothing and this one has the cloud paint. It's very subtle and I like that. I don't like it when blushes are 
too much, you know? So I'm gonna put it on the left side now. So, oh, I'm gonna put too much here at once. Just trying to blend it in. I really like how easily it is to blend it and how natural it looks. Like the color might be intimidating. I was a little bit intimidated by it at first just because it looks so vibrant but it's actually so nice super into it i really like this little cloud paint product um, definitely we'll check out the other colors okay next up is the holoscope this is do effect highlighter and i got it in the shade topaz i used to be obsessed with these stick highlighters but now every day i don't use highlighter um same with blush don't really have the extra time. I mean, if I have like more time to get ready, then yeah. But like usually I'm so tired when I wake up, I'm just kind of like put on a little bit of concealer um, and brows. And that's why I get lash extensions because I'm just too lazy to do much in the morning. So this is what the Holoscope looks like. Love the packaging. Super pretty. And that is the shade. Love Glossier's packaging. They're just all so simple minimal okay so this is what it looks like i'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand i got this color because one of them was um more like silvery and i saw a picture of a girl wearing this um, along with like the cloud paint and she just looks so sun-kissed and gorgeous so i wanted to get this color now i'm thinking it might be a little bit dark but maybe better once I get more of a tan in the summer. But this just says glide onto cheek and brow bones and blend with fingers to enlighten your face. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it straight onto my cheekbones, I guess. Oh. I'm just gonna do one side first. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna blend it with my finger. Zoom you guys up. So this is usually where I put my highlighter, just here and up here, kind of on the cheeks too. A lot of with these stick highlighters, I think they can be a little dry and make your face look super dry. But with this, I think it's very pretty. And it's actually not too dark. I thought it was going to come off too dark, but once I blend it, it's like more bronzy and yeah i really like this shade it's definitely not one of those highlighters that's super bright and in your face but this is great for like an everyday highlighter or when you don't want to look like you're wearing a highlighter or too much makeup and it's more of like a natural glow you know super nice okay i'm gonna do this side Oh, look at that sheen. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely not a highlighter that's super bright, like a bam kind of, you know? But it's very nice for a more subtle look, which I really like actually. I was really into those highlighters that are really, you know, that you can see like a mile away. But now I like it when it's more toned down and it's not too crazy. Of course, if I'm like going out or something, I want my highlighter to be shown. But on an everyday kind of daytime look, I think this is really pretty. And I think we have one, oh, two last, two more products. First one's gonna be the Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick in the color Cake. Um, this is so pretty. I saw it on the model and it was just stunning on her it was like that my lips but better kind of look it's like a kind of peachy coral but not too bright perfect for the summer i think so let's open it up again beautiful simple package super clean gorgeous and there's a little logo at the top of the cap um let's see the directions for this swipe onto lips for smooth sheer wash of color i think what it they advertised it as was um 
a blotted lip without the blotting i really like that because a lot of times i put on my lipstick and i blot it to make it not as vibrant this is the color let's put it on Ooh. Wow, I really love this color. They had another color called Like, I think. That one was super pretty too. And it doesn't look like I'm really wearing a lot of lips. Like it just really looks blotted. Yeah, I'm really into this color so pretty um i think it'll be so nice in the summer too this is like the perfect little summer everyday lip and the formula is not drying at all it doesn't feel as you know um hydrating as like a lip balm of course but definitely not drying feels really good on the lips last but not least we have the soothing face miss rose water spray and it just says use any time to refresh your skin so i guess this is when your skin feels a little dry or your makeup is starting to look a little more cakey i think this would be the perfect little product okay i want to see how it smells first oh oh it smells so nice it smells like rose water and if you can see the spray it's a very fine mist and i love like a spray with a good fine mist so let's try this out. Mm. Wow, that's so nice. Mm. Okay. Did I overdo it? That was really nice. I love this little spray. I wish they had a travel size. Maybe they do. Like to just throw in my bag. Because this is a little big to bring around. Okay, so this is the final look. Really hydrating look pretty natural feels like skin looks like skin love this lip color i can't get over it i think this is gonna be like my new go-to lip color yeah i really am pleasantly surprised i think glossy gets a lot of mixed reviews um most people love it but there are a few that says if you don't have perfect skin then you know it's not for you but i definitely don't have perfect skin i have blemishes and it works really well. Um, I don't think I would have liked the perfecting skin tint, which is what a lot of people complain about. Really into the bubble wrap. I think it is a great little eye cream to use, especially under makeup. It looks really nice together. And even like at night, if you want like a more light um, eye cream, this would be it. I wouldn't use it really much on my lip. I don't really see a purpose for that um, unless you just have this and you need like a lip balm or something and then I guess yeah I would use that but otherwise I would just get a regular lip balm love the primer I definitely would use this love how it feels on my skin um, under my makeup makes me feel really hydrated and good and love the stretch concealer so nice for every day um, or just if you want to cover up any dark circles, blemishes, anything like that. Super nice product. I think they have about 10 shades. So it's a pretty good variety. I probably would get a darker shade for like the summer for the rest of my face if I just want to use concealer. But under the eyes, love this color, G10. Boy Brow, this is the only product that I'm just eh about. I don't see much of a difference for me personally um maybe for those that do need a brow gel this is really good yeah it doesn't i mean it doesn't feel that crunchy kind of feel when i use other brow gels so i do like that other than that it doesn't really do much for me i don't feel like i need it um i'm not gonna return it just because if i do need a brow gel I don't have any other with me and this would be good if I just want my hair to stay in place. It's not something that I feel like I needed to buy. I have the Halo Scope. Really love this. So pretty. Love the sheen that it gives my face. Um, I think this would look beautiful in the summer and it's so easy to use. Just tap with your fingers, no brushes, nothing like that. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. I um, thought it was going to be too dark on my face but it actually 
looks really seamless and really nice and along with the cloud paint and dusk absolutely love this product i think it's the perfect little rosy peachy blush and these two combined absolutely loving i'm definitely going to be wearing this so much obviously you don't need to get these two together but i think together they they just look so pretty and i don't know it blends really nicely but even alone love this okay and next the generation g sheer matte lipstick in cake this color i think this might be Okay, no, I can't. I was gonna say this is my favorite, but I'm obsessed with the cloud paint and the halo scope, so I don't know. But this is def these three are definitely my top three in all these products. I think it just looks really nice with my skin tone too. So if you have a light medium skin tone, like more warm, like Asian skin tone, you know, I think this would look really beautiful. Last but not least, we have the soothing face mist in rose water spray i love this i love sprays especially with that fine mist and this has that smells amazing feels really good i think it just refreshes your face refreshes your makeup you know okay and that is everything that i have in this glossier try on haul really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful okay so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys